first and foremost, happy Veterans Day and happy Marine Corps birthday for all service members and Marines past, present, and future. Okay, the story behind this knife here. This knife is a vintage World War II, circa 1942 to 1945, USMC Navy Corpsman uh, Bolo Suck. knife. Uh, there are many uh, manufacturers that made this. This particular one is made from, by Village Blacksmith. The story on how I got this in my possession was uh, SoCal Preppers was coming through my area. Uh, he was on his way up to Prepper Stock 2013 that was being held up in Northern California. And uh, he stopped by a house of a local prepper uh, that I know as well. I am Ramro. Check out the channels below. And uh, we went out to dinner. We all met up and, and went out to dinner. So before beforehand, he brought out this box full of knives. I mean, folders, uh, machete folders, some hunting knives, some older knives, some new Rambo-looking knives, you name it. And uh, I think he was going to give them away or give them to uh, I Am Ramro. Uh, he offered to give me one of those. And I kind of I declined at first because I'm, I'm not too keen on taking things but uh, they were forcing me into taking a knife <laughs> if you could believe that uh, looking through the knife knives I noticed this one that had USMC inscribed on the blade and I thought hey that's kind of interesting and uh, SoCal Preppers uh, mentioned that his dad served in Korea as a marine and he had this with him so I thought it was kind of cool that, that, that he gave me this, that belonged to him, and that he was also a Marine in, during Korea. I felt compelled to uh, take it and, and take it under my wing and have it in my possession and take care of it. I mean, after all, this is made maybe in 1944. It's already going 60 plus years of being uh, serviceable still. So. I could at least give it another 40, 40 more years or so under my care. And when I'm too old to not swing this anymore, I'll surely pass it on to another Marine Corps or Navy Corpsman vet. So the history behind this is that uh, the Marine Corps has a detachment of Navy Corpsman personnel to, to give them uh, first aid and stuff, uh, medical care out in the battlefield. In my personal opinions, you, uh, I think you should give those guys an Eagle Globe and Anchor, uh, honorary Eagle Globe and Anchor, because they do everything alongside with us. So there is a, a pretty close-knit collaboration between those two groups of uh, branch of services that, that are tightly woven together. And like I said, at, at the, during the World War II, 43, to 45 around there the United States Marine Corps commissioned this particular knife to give it to the Navy corpsman to as a field kit knife or a uh, camp knife or some something like that hacking through jungle uh, making improvised stretchers uh, this blade here the tip of it was meant to dig uh, hack through jungle like I said uh, and it was joked that it was said that this was to amputate arms and legs, uh, but that was only a running joke. Uh, after the war, this was issued during Korea and I think Vietnam as well, from what I heard or read, that uh, every four-man Marine fire team was issued at least one of these. So for every four Marines, one of these were issued. Uh, no stories about how this held up in combat or if it was ever used as combat, but this is pretty much just a camp knife uh, for sort of improvised bushcraft uh, making of uh, shelter or whatever. Uh, I read in, in, on the internet and stuff that they contested whether USMC doesn't mean United States Marine Corps, that it meant United States Medical Corps. Uh, I, I don't think that's that's the case in this knife I mean so I don't think the USMC on this knife signifies United States Medical Corps I, I truly believe that it was meant to say United States Marine Corps 
Uh, by the 40s, the Marine Corps has already established uh, a fierce reputation for being hard as nails and tough fighters. And by that time, I'm sure brand recognition, USMC, was fiercely uh, protected to this day. And also, if this was brought by the United States Navy or another branch or whatever, they would have their insignia on it as far as the major branch of service. It would say USN on top instead of USMC. Usually designators for, for uh, military equipment would be Mark I, M1, M14, and so forth. And usually, uh, if not that, but the branch of service that, that was associated with, with the particular gear, like uh, the Navy had a, a, a run of 1911s that had United States Navy printed on the slide, M1911 or whatever, uh, for the 45s or whatnot. But uh, in this case, I, I truly think that the USMC is, uh, role mark here was meant to, for United States Marine Corps. And after World War II, the uh, grunts or whatever did use this to uh, bring out into the field themselves, along with the Navy corpsmen. So both branches did use this out in the field. So that's a little bit of history behind this particular knife. I thought it would be fitting to show this. There's not many videos on this, maybe one or two or three. As far as practical use today, I, I use it for kindling on this firewood that I have behind me and splitting wood, uh, easy wood to split. Mm -hmm. And it does a really good job at that. So let's go to the footage and show that. But as far as going out to the field or camping or bugging out or bugging in or, or anything like that, I think this is a little bit too much. Uh, a bushcraft knife with an ax uh, is sufficient to do all those other jobs. Uh, this could do it, but I think you're gonna work a little bit harder. chop up some firewood. This is pretty much what I'm going to be using this for. I Split some wood. Just pulverized it. That's what it did. There we go. Chop up some live oak. There we go. Let's try some wimpy pine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Held an edge pretty good still. Not bad for a camp knife. Let's see what the what, what this could do out here. Which is a lot of it, imagine. Buckle Laplander would have been a little bit quieter, maybe a little bit more efficient as far as expending calories, but this is fun.
proper axe would have been better. So personally, I don't think this was made to be a fighting knife. It doesn't have a point at the end, though it is sharpened all the way around on this radius here. This is sharpened. Uh, it resembles or was designed after the Filipino bolo knife, which traditionally was used as a agricultural implement, but being peasants and stuff like that, when, when they need to arise, uh, to go into arms or, or or protect themselves that agricultural device turns into a weapon and during the Moto insurrection during the Philippine US insurrection they use this with 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 great efficiency to uh, combat the American forces during that insurrection and I guess the uh, United States took note of uh, how effective this particular style machete slash axe was and incorporated into their design in 1943 to uh, have the same effect or use it in the field as a, as a field uh, bushcraft knife. I don't think this was made for combat because it doesn't have the pointy, uh, the pointy drop point here on the far end and also you don't have a choil here to uh, counteract other blows for, from other knives or so forth so this was pretty much for bushcrafting but you could pick anything up as a weapon these days so this could be a pretty formidable scary thing to come at, at you